Dr. Phil is here to help us with some tips for moms and dads. They need to know these to protect their kids from these very real threats out there. We actually have Charlotte and Matt in our audience. They have a question about their daughter, Sophia. Welcome to all three of you. Hi, Sophia. I'm assuming your question has something to do with what we're discussing. <laughs> yes. Uh, my daughter, Sophia, is very social, and she likes to hang out with older children. Mm -hmm. She will introduce herself fully, full name, age. You can tell that she's not quite understanding the situation. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to teach her to beware without scaring her. Well, it is scary out there, and it's all about parents being informed. Look, our job as parents is to prepare our children for the next level of life, to nurture them and keep them safe. And parents always say, Dr. Phil, how can I keep my child safe? The number one thing you can do to keep your child safe is to teach them to self-protect. You've got to teach them that it is okay for them to listen to their body like we were talking about, for them to know that if something is making them uncomfortable, and you explain it to them in a way that doesn't make them afraid of the world, but it lets them know that there are boundaries that it is okay for them to enforce. And I think it's important to rehearse it with them mm -hmm. so they don't choke at the time. Role play, exactly. get out in the front yard and practice with them. Practicing what to do if you're in danger, it's a very important technique we actually have self-defense instructor Tracy Arlington from Play It Safe here along with her assistant, Miley. They're gonna do a demonstration because this is about rehearsing, right? Absolutely. Why don't you come on up here? And Hi, Miley. Hey, Miley. How's How are you? So what are you, what are you all gonna demonstrate slash rehearse for us? Okay, well, the, we, you have to make it fun for your kids so you don't scare them. So that age range from about 5 to 11, we actually teach them to go chihuahua crazy. They get that. If a little chihuahua can chase off a big dog, they can too. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate maybe this is somebody that they know they shouldn't go with. Um, it could be someone they know or it could be a stranger. Um, typically, you know, they would be picked up, maybe hand over the mouth and she would wiggle out of it and kick. Um, fall to the ground, but it, that's the thing. We don't want them to be moved. Uh, not everybody has the luxury of taking the martial arts, so we're just going to teach her to make herself immovable. So watch. Come here, kid. Stranger, don't stranger, yell. Not one, one. Quiet. stranger, stranger, not one, one. Quiet. stranger, stranger, not one, one. stranger, stranger, not stranger, 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 so you're going chihuahua crazy. Chihuahua crazy, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. You know, you're making a lot of noise. A lot of noise, you're yeah. attracting a lot of attention. A lot of attention, this. and we're making it short. It used to be where you'd say, um, you're not my dad, I don't know you, back off. You've got to keep it short so people understand. And help, mm -hmm. screaming help, and um, people think they're just playing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now say another thing, because you went over it really quickly. Why she went to the ground? So she couldn't be moved. Uh, we saw that in August in Philadelphia. Um, a man tried to abduct the child. He picked her up like this. She wiggled out of it. Once she fell, though, twice he comes in to grab her. You see him back away. He jumps in the car, and he's gone. Mm -hmm. And legs Rick's are powerful wow. weapons Strongest for weapons are your legs. What's your biggest weapon, though, Miley? Voice. Your voice, yeah, exactly, right. Well, I want to talk to Sophia now. Sophia, okay. did you see Miley do that? Yes. Did you see how loud she was? Do you think you could do that? You want to try it? You want to come on up here and show us your chihuahua crazy? Yeah. So, so, Sophia, have you ever had a temper tantrum before? Yes. Oh, you have, yeah? <laughs> Okay, so, so I'm going to pull you in, and you're not supposed to go with me because you don't know me, or maybe I'm making your creep alarm go off, you know? So what we're going to do is you're just going to drop on the floor and start kicking and screaming. So watch. Come here, little kid. Come Stranger here. Stranger danger 911! Stranger wow. danger 911! 